there's word going around uh, about a new uh, Go Transit uh, new train line. Caledon Vaughn. So this uh, train line is uh, most likely going to be on the CN rail. Like all the other Go Train lines. Except for the Melton one which is on the CP rail line of uh, trucks. So the Greater Toronto uh, area is uh, getting a uh, well soon uh, this uh, this project may start so the Minister of uh, Transportation of Ontario uh, Carolyn uh, Moroni uh, has uh, approved uh, Metrolinx uh, to uh, start the uh, business care of the proposed uh, Calen on uh, Vaughan uh, Go Line so this uh, sort of goes between uh, the city of uh, Vaughan and uh, and also uh, Pure Region's uh, Caledon. So that this is the uh, this will actually uh, help uh, people who uh, live in uh, the the town of Caledon and the uh, city of uh, Vaughan uh, to uh, get more public transit. Uh, they are saying. So uh, many people have been uh, hoping for like uh, a line uh, that's close to there because uh, the lines that are close to, to uh, the Caledon is, is the, is the re new uh, extended uh, London line which used to be uh, just the Kitchener line and previously the Georgetown line, uh, the Green line. So the closest uh, station would be uh, Brampton, uh, Govia, and uh, uh, and uh, Bramley uh, station. Uh, Elstead, and Brampton is like just uh, directly south of uh, the town of uh, Caledon. The town of uh, Caledon, uh, Mayor Alan Thompson uh, said, uh, as the municipality uh, pro projected to grow uh, by 300,000 people and uh, 125,000 uh, uh, jobs by 2051, advancing a uh, co-train service to Caledon is now a smart force for looking planning. It's a critical uh, option for uh, reducing traffic congestion on our roads, preserving uh, Caledon's quality of life, and uh, protecting our environment and green spaces. We thank the province and Metrolinx for taking this important step. Next step. So uh, uh, they have estimated that it would this uh, the Caledon uh, Vaughan uh, Go train line would uh, serve about. Uh, 1.3 million people uh, from not just uh, Caledon uh, involved, but Brampton and Toronto as well. And uh, there have been uh, people uh, uh, asking for uh, commuter rail service between Caledon, Vaughan, and Toronto, the Union Station. Uh, Due to many studies, uh, so that in 2010, uh, Metrolinx uh, had uh, done uh, Bolton, Caledon, uh, commuter uh, rail service uh, feasibility study, uh, which uh, 
resulted in uh, the need for based service uh, based on uh, growth in population and employment and high potential demand for rail uh, ridership. Uh, so they haven't uh, really ex uh, explained uh, where the tracks would go, but uh, from what, in the, what it looks on a rail, see in uh, rail tracks, which is a, the Union Station is on, it would uh, definitely uh, share the same tracks as the London Line and the Melton Line. And also the Berry Line, which they all share the same track. And then they'll uh, continue to share the same tracks uh, with the the London line, and then uh, end up uh, splitting with the other tracks. But this would also mean uh, projects that uh, Metrolinx uh, previously uh, said they would be making, uh, and uh, these open these stations. Uh, well, claim to uh, open these stations uh, would not uh, be delayed again. Confederation uh, Station on the what Lakeshore uh, West Line, which would uh, be close to the Niagara region, uh, and still in the Hamilton uh, Wentworth uh, region. That. People over in uh, Hamilton that uh, went through the region said that con construction hasn't even started. And of course, the Lakeshore East uh, line, uh, where uh, stations are uh, Thornton, Ritson, Curtis, uh, and uh, uh, and Bowmanville, which would be on the CP rail line, uh, the exact same uh, track. Trucks uh, at the Milton uh, train that trucks uh, uh, run on, owned by the CP Rail Company. And of course, uh, construction hasn't uh, even started out uh, there, so. So this would technically uh, be a win-lose situation for, uh, so this would be a win for the people who are in uh, like the town of Caledon and uh, Vaughan and uh, people who are, uh, you know, in that area because the uh, uh, most uh, closest uh, station is uh, technically uh, to the Vaughan is uh, the York University station, uh, which is somewhat near New York University in uh, North York, part of uh, Toronto, uh, and of course the uh, Brampton uh, Station uh, and Bram Go Via Station and uh, Bram Lee Go Station uh, on the land London line. And although there will be buses, uh, routes like uh, Like the York Regions of Viva and uh, and York Regional Transit and uh, and uh, Brampton, uh, they have their uh, bus uh, line to uh, the Zoom bus uh, transit for that one and the Zoom bus. This is the, the farthest uh, south they ever go to is Finch West uh, TTC Station and uh, York University. So uh, two uh, parts of uh, different places and uh, 
North York uh, of uh, Toronto. And of course there will be a loss for uh, basically everyone else, uh, which Metrolinx, the, they say they will start, start these projects, uh, then they do, they won't, and they'll make a new projects and release that first. For example, Bloomington GO Station on the Richmond Hill Line, which only operates uh, on uh, weekdays, uh, only going one direction. Southbound in the morning, and then uh, northbound in the evening, and then uh, and daily all day all days of the week buses, which the buses bypass uh, Oriole and uh, no Old Comer uh, Go stations on that line, uh, which there was really no uh, not really uh, used to. Uh, I mean, Gorm Gormley was fine, I guess, but uh, it, was a, it was kind of a waste uh, just releasing a station uh, that uh, people wouldn't really use. Uh, also stating the fact that uh, the town of uh, Gorm uh, Bloomington is pretty small. It's right along the Highway 404. And also the London Line uh, extension, uh, which uh, Stratford, uh, St. Mary's and London uh, stations are shared by Via Rail and uh, the Via Rail is way faster and uh, prices would technically be cheaper and they actually run in uh, both directions. And well, the London Line, uh, they will, uh, the only part of the London Line that actually uh, goes in both directions uh, on the weekdays uh, is uh, from uh, Union Station to Bramalia back and forth they don't go past Bramalia that would only be, be on uh, in early mornings mornings so morning trains uh, from uh, Kitchener and early trains from London so it was not really a uh, waste for that one too because people have reported I don't use that not nine months And uh, people can't use uh, Presto uh, cards, uh, the e, e cards. Uh, they could just think, and they just, just can just uh, hop on a train now. Uh. And uh, Strat Stratford, uh, St. Mary's uh, Central, and uh, London uh, Go Via stations do not permit that. And of course, the, the Caledon Vaughn line. Uh, they're definitely going to do the same thing with every single track line up. They will have uh, towards Uni Union Station in the morning, southbound or westbound or eastbound or westbound. And then in the evening of that, it will be uh, back to the end station uh, or whatever stops. Uh, it sort of stops that. And exclusive thing that Lakeshore uh, West and Lakeshore East lines, which people use the most, and uh, that operates uh, daily, every day of the week. Which the only exemption is uh, Hamilton Go Station, uh, the James Street uh, uh, Station, uh, there. Uh, and uh, which is like the harbor front uh, close to their uh, station and then uh, soon to be a uh, confederation uh, station which hasn't even been built or started on actually so easier for some people yeah, and just uh, more delays for other people uh, who would expect. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, people in uh, just east of uh, uh, Oshawa who would really want uh, easier access because Oshawa Go Via Station is stockpiled. Uh, like so many people, because uh, that's the end station, uh, the Lakeshore East Line, and it's busy.
people going to work. Yeah. So, and a lot of people go to Whitby, which go station, uh, which they have a parking tower, but it's un, it's filled up very a lot most of the time, and and the extension of uh, off track uh, just ending at uh, Whitby, and then side tracking onto the CP rail tracks, uh, bypassing uh. Oshawa Govia station and uh, going on uh, that could have been be a big benefit for men many uh, east people uh, who live uh, east of Oshawa but looks like that's going to be delayed